Hey there, what can I do for you? I appreciate everything you've done for Griff. You know that, right? I just hope things work out for him this time around. I guess we'll find out when he meets up with us at the Zerka Corp shop. If he's got those credits he promised you, then maybe there's hope for him yet. Hey there, what can I do for you? I appreciate everything you've done. I guess we'll find... Hey there. No problem. Just so happy. Anything else? No, anything? No, anything? No problem. No problem. No problem. Anything? No problem. Anything? Sorry, I don't have one handy right now. Besides, we've got plenty of security spies. How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? I do not know how to help you with that. Statement. HK-47 is ready to serve, Master. Statement. Certainly, Master. Allow me to input. Are you ready to be... As you desire. Knowledge of that to impart, Master. Statement. A Query. Don't I? I was under the assumption that organic meat bags such as yourself enjoyed such forms of address. Apology. I am afraid I cannot comply. Explanation. Someone has hard coded it into my system that my current master always be addressed as such. Conjecture. I do not know. Some organic meat bag? Objection. I would not advise that, Master. Th Answer. Considerably. Several of my systems do not match their embedded parameters. I have no memory of such alterations, however, or their purpose. Answer. Electrical protection systems, mostly. They are at lethal levels, however, Master. Only the best for your droid. Conjecture. I do not... Objection. Observation. I can hardly be blamed for my pro... Commentary. That is a very clever turn of phrase, Master. Your brain is very unmeatbag like
Kipuna, bona na kichu. Selima wanga kun biking. Mucha shaka panka. 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 Kipuna. Selima wanga kun biking. Mucha shaka panka. Mucha shaka panka. Mucha shaka panka. Mucha shaka panka. Tonki ba non tontek. Kipuna, bona na kichu. Selima wanga kun biking. Tong Tong abuk shami no nok. Tong abuk shami no nok. Tong ki ba non tontek. Selima wanga kun biking. 
Tong ki ba non tontek. Kipuna, bona na kichu. Kipuna, bona na kichu. Tong ki ba non tontek. Tong abuk shami no nok. Mucha shakapaka. Tong abuk shami no nok. Mucha shakapaka. Mucha shakapaka. Tong abuk shami no nok. Mucha shakapaka. Selima wanga kun bikin. Kipuna, bona na kichu. Kipuna, bona na kichu. Tong ki ba non tontek. Tong ki ba non tontek. Kipuna, bona na kichu. Kipuna, bona na kichu. Kipuna, bona na kichu. Tong abuk shami no nok. Mucha shakapaka. Selima wanga kun bikin. Tong ki ba non tontek. Mucha shakapaka. Tong ki ba non tontek. Tong ki ba non tontek. Kipuna, bona na kichu. Mucha shakapaka. Tong abuk shami no nok. Kukumo no ba. Chi gratu no da bogla. Ka chi ku. Chi do ba do wana ni di bobo. Ronda di hotonga kun hanka bi. Chi do ba do wana ni di bobo. Ronda di hotonga kun hanka bi. Wanna kun be? Ronda di hotonga kun hanka bi. Wanna kun be? Ching palamule tonking ba nunotek? Tuk ning chatuk. Mucha shakapanka. Tolpa da bongwale gandu nangugu chut chut. Kabadum ku pilio. Kipuna, bona na kichu. Takom juz tak miki. Tong abuk shami no nok. Tong ki ba non tontek. Selima wanga kun bikin. Tong hait wam jiji jom lumpa.
You felt it, yes? Another vision? The Force continues to work through us, showing us the star maps unearthed by Revenant Malak. It is strange that anyone would have built a star map here. The entire surface of Manon is covered by nothing but vast oceans. The ocean floor is vast, and much of it is uncharted, even by the native Selkarth. But how could Revenant Malak have found their way down? No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. I'm here. You Republic people are so pathetic, sitting around groveling at the table scraps that the Galactic Senators deign to give you. It makes me sick. The Senators work for the good of the whole galaxy, not for individual gain. Ha! Don't make me laugh, you gutless simp. It's the destiny of weak-minded fools like you to be ruled over by the strong, like we Sith. I'm warning you. Don't push me or you'll get just what you're asking for. Try it. Just try it. I'd love to see you throw the first punch. And with all the cameras around, the Selkath would be all over you inside of 30 seconds. You break their laws. You pay the price, Republic scum. But I can see that you're not man enough to back up your words anyway. If you ever feel like relieving yourself of your worthless existence, feel free to come by our enclave here. We have many, many ways to fulfill your wish. <sighs> yeah, what are you... Oh, I apologize, Master Jedi. I should not have been rude. Well, of course, I'm always willing to help a Jedi. What do you require? Um, it's big. Real big. Actually, it's pretty much the only real city on the entire world. The only place for us air breathers, anyway. Manan is a water world, which you may have noticed on your way down to land here, inhabited natively by a species of fish people called the Selkath. They built this city to cater to us off-worlders, and as a base of operations to export Kolto, which is the only real thing they have to trade here. The Selkath think that by staying neutral, they can play both sides, selling Kolto to everyone that needs it, and making themselves too valuable to be worth conquering. Well, that, and they threaten to destroy the only natural source of Kolto on the planet if anyone tries to attack them. But I think they're underestimating the length the Sith will go to to get what they want. They're probably planning something already. Is there anything else you require? Of course. If you have any other questions, you should probably see Roland Wan. He's the Republic diplomat here. He's by the Republic Enclave, near the Visitor Residences. Oh, if you don't know where that is, go north from here, then south past the port official in the first courtyard, east into the second courtyard, then north, then east again. You got that? Have a pleasant stay, Master Jedi. Got something on your mind, do you? You got yourself a fast little ship? <laughs> I forgot what engine sounded like. The closest thing to that on Kashyyyk is an uller in mating season. Oh, frightful. Or it could be for the free food. What's the gunk that comes out of a synthesizer on this bucket anyway? Do you never clean the darn thing? I'm old, damn it. I'm allowed to be enigmatic when I want to be. And don't you go telling me otherwise. You know, 
You remind me of someone else I knew ages ago. Pleasant enough fellow, great destiny, all of that. Breath like a bantha. No, but it could be. An Anduvian salt tablet would clear that right up, you know. Anyway, uh, where was I? Oh, yes. Andor Vix was his name. The force swirled around him like a hurricane. That's how great his destiny was. No, you wouldn't have. Sometimes swirling force is just swirling force. It gets us old Jedi's excited at our age, so we go, Ooh, destiny. Well, it turned out that poor Andor believed a wee bit too much in the infallibility of that destiny. That overconfidence turned out to be his downfall. Does it have to have a point? I thought we were just talking about Andor. Something wrong with your attention span? Let's see. Oh yes, Andor's downfall. I was pretty young myself when it happened. At the time, I thought that Andor's destiny couldn't be more boring. You know, if you keep interrupting, it will take even longer. Have you no patience at all? How did you get as old as you are, anyway? I was just about to abandon Andor to whatever the Force intended for him when his ship was overtaken by a Dimian warship. Now, you've probably never heard of the Dimians, but at the time, they were a nasty lot led by a nastier overlord named Krat. Tall fellow, big teeth. Krat has us hauled onto the bridge of his ship for questioning, and that's when I knew that Andor's destiny was at hand. Of course he did. Haven't you been listening? It was not in the way you'd probably expect, though. Well, Andor decides that his destiny makes him invulnerable and starts making all sorts of demands. Free me now. I'm not answering questions. Blah, blah, blah. Don't you know who I am? Krat decides he's had enough and begins crushing Andor's neck. I told the boy he should have kept his mouth shut. I think he agreed, too, or... This could have just been gurgling noises. Oh, well, anyway. Finally, Krat has enough of Andor and tosses him aside into this giant energy intake shaft. Andor gets sucked in and starts bouncing around, <laughs> screaming. <laughs> Maybe Andor hit something sensitive on the way down or just didn't agree with the reactor core. Next thing I know, all the ship's alarms are ringing. Everyone panics, and I run, barely making it to the ship in time before the explosion. Krat dies horribly, and the Dimians never quite recovered. Changed the political course of the entire sector for centuries to come. I'd call that quite a destiny, wouldn't you? Well, now that's the ingratitude of youth for you. I relate an exciting tale, and do I get thanked for it? No! No, it's all me, me, me. Uh, anyway, go on. My throat is dry and you're making me cranky. Shoo! Yeah, I can't talk now. I've got to get this cult alone. If you have any other questions, you should probably see Roland Karth! Karth Onessi, is that you? Jordo? It is you, isn't it? I knew it when I laid eyes on you. You old space dog. How have you been? I thought for sure you'd be fighting on some ship out there. I was. I crashed. <laughs> That's pretty rich. I can't imagine what it would take to keep you on the ground. Must have something to do with your pretty friend here, hey? How do you do, miss? So what are you doing here, Jordo? Last time I saw you was on, uh, well, Telos, actually. Yeah, it's a shame about home. Telos still hasn't recovered. The family and I moved on, and I'm working for Zerka now. I didn't see you after... Uh, what I mean is, my condolences on your wife. 
I heard what happened. At least your boy made it through all right. My boy? Y you mean Dustal? Yes, of course. I saw him at my last stop on Korriban, though he didn't recognize me. You didn't know he was there? No. Jordo, Dustal's been missing since the attack on Telos. Are you, are you absolutely certain it was him? Yeah, I'd recognize Dustal anywhere. Positive. He's, um, he's joined the Sith, Garth. What do you mean he's joined the Sith? There's an academy for the Sith on Korriban. He's a student there. I saw him suited up in their outfit and everything. Sorry, I thought you knew. No, no, I, I didn't. Well, thanks for telling me, Jordo. Sure, no... No problem. Good to see you again, Karth. Hope everything works out with Dustal. Dustal? Dustal is alive. We, we have to go to the Korriban Academy and find him. Thank you. I, I, I just have to see him. I have to know what happened to him. All this time I thought he was... I mean, he must be a man by now. got all the proper culto training permits, so back off.
Whole swoop racing circuit. I don't have time to listen to your stories. I've got a full shipment of cargo. Basila, did you ever think about joining all the Jedi who were running off to follow Revan and Malak when they went to fight the Mandalorians? That was nearly five years ago. I was still an apprentice. My battle meditation hadn't even manifested itself. Yet even then I had the wisdom to obey the will of the Council. Unlike Revan. I guess. Still, do you ever wonder if things could have been different? I mean, would Revan and Malak still have been corrupted if the Council had supported them instead of dragging its feet? Do not blame Revan's corruption on the Council. Your Republic saw only the threat of the Mandalorians, but the wisdom of the Masters saw beyond the immediate threat. There was something lurking out there. Something that devoured Revan and Malak, and many other Jedi. Had the Council sent us all into the unknown, how many more would have fallen? So you're saying we should have done nothing? Just let the Mandalorians conquer us on a post? I mean, the Republic was under attack, and the Order abandoned us. We did not abandon you. But the Council were not about to throw lives away foolishly. In time, we would have aided you against the Mandalorians. But you couldn't wait. Revan and Malak offered a quicker answer, and the Republic chose to walk the easy path rather than the path of wisdom. Now we see the results all around us. You asked me if I think things could have been different. I know they could have. If Revan had only listened to the Council, millions of innocent people would still be alive. Yeah, right. And every single one of them would have been speaking that alone. I, I think we're done. Let's just get back to the task at hand. I was told that you're a friend of Jolie Bindo, and that Jolie has returned to the sector. Please, I must speak to him. It's very urgent. My name is Alora. My husband, Sunri, and Jolie are old friends. Now Sunri needs Jolie's help. Please, I beg you to bring Jolie to speak to me about my husband. Sunri's life depends on it. So, do we have a deal? That's an awful lot of money. Is there something you're not telling me? Don't be so suspicious. The Republic is generous. We pay our mercenaries well. Makes sense, I guess. All right, I'm in. When do I start? Just show up at the Republic Embassy tomorrow and speak to our representative there. I'm sure I'll have some task he wants you to start on right away. I'm uncomfortable with spying on the Republic, but if, if we could assure the Cellcat that they mean no harm, then perhaps... If... And what if the Republic does mean harm, Karth? If the Republic did mean harm to the Cellcat, then I want to know what the Cellcat did to provoke it. How very noble of... <laughs> Thank you. 
Manon may not seem very hospitable. I am not for hire. Perhaps the Mandalorian or the Achani can help you. Though they lack the stomach for certain... Why do you care? There are other mercenaries you can hire. Though I suggest you act quickly. The Republic seems to be in desperate need of mercenaries right now. Though not so desperate, they have asked for my help as of yet. They prefer the simpering, submissive type. Perhaps you should ask them. The Republic prefers not to deal with my kind. Though maybe they need an Iridorian to finish the job. The mercenaries they hire must be failing, as they are never heard from again. That is all I know. Is there more you wish to ask? Yes, I'm not surprised. If you're here to offer me a job, I'm not interested. Maybe that Iridorian skull slacker at the bar, or the Ajani nerf herder count. I'm a realist. It was war, after all. And, he, and with this war, there's there anything else you want. So why you tell Save your empty threats, Sith scum. Malak isn't stupid enough to attack the core worlds, now with the entire Republic fleet waiting for him. You're a fool. When the Sith descend on Coruscant, our numbers will block out the sun itself. The galactic senators will collapse trembling in fear and beg for mercy at Malak's feet. You underestimate the Republic's resolve. We'll die before we surrender Coruscant. That can be arranged. Remember what happened to Taris. Malak could do the same to the core worlds. He wouldn't dare. Now it is you who underestimate our resolve. About what? The only thing I want to do right now is find Dustin. If he's alive, 
there's just nothing else I want to think about. I'll understand if we can't look for him right now, but if we could, it would be a huge load off my mind. How can I help? Manan is a water world inhabited by an aquatic race known as... It is unique. Sorry, buddy, but the hotel is closed. Ever since the murder, the Selkath have made me keep this place locked up tight. Only the Selkath authorities, and those authorized by them, are allowed in. This old Republic war hero by the name of Sunri was seeing the Sith woman here, Alasa. Well, they were seeing each other, but the other night a blaster went off in one of the rooms. Sunri got seen leaving the place, and the Sith woman was dead on the floor. But not everyone thinks this Sunri did it. So the Selkath are holding him in prison while the case gets sorted out. In the meantime, they closed down my hotel. But enough about my problems. You can't stay here while the investigation is on. You'll have to find someplace else to stay. Sorry. Welcome to Manan. I'm Roland Juan. As the official representative of the Republic Embassy on this planet, I'm here to help all citizens of the Republic should they require aid. Oh, of course. Of course I'll do whatever I can. But I'm only a simple diplomatic representative of the Republic. I doubt I can be of any use to the Jedi Council. An ancient and forgotten race. And you think it may be here on Manon? Hmm. Well, perhaps. But if you want to get information about that, you'll have to do something for me first. Don't think you can manipulate me, Jedi. The Republic Diplomatic Corps has to deal with the Sith all the time, so we're very resistant to mental influence. Your only real choice is to help me so I can help you. We were using a submersible reconnaissance droid in the ocean surrounding Otto City, and it was damaged. It took a data recording of the outside of the city before being driven off by the Firaxan sharks. But while it was returning to the surface, it encountered difficulties and was disabled. Its automatic systems floated it to the surface, but we could not retrieve it in time. The Sith were applying subtle pressure to the Selkath authorities for some reason we've not determined, and were able to delay us long enough that they could retrieve the droid before we did. The droid's data centers are heavily encrypted, so it will take the Sith several days, we believe, to get to its data. It was captured 12 hours ago. It is imperative that we get it back. It's heavily guarded, we're sure, in the Sith Embassy here on Manon. Since we have no remaining soldiers to spare, and certainly not our elite ones, we have no one capable of entering the Sith. That is what we would ask you to do. There are several leads we've been working on to get into the Sith base. Any of them should work for you, although it might be wise to concentrate your efforts on just one. The first method that's possible is to help us interrogate a Sith prisoner we managed to catch after he tried to infiltrate our base. He's being held just inside our enclave. We think he may be able to give us the passcode that the Sith give their informers to enter the base. He has proved most resilient so far. We managed to pick up a crate of blank Sith data cards, the type they use for pass cards. The encryption system to unlock them is very difficult, however. But if you are more skilled than our technicians, you may be able to gain access that way. The Sith have got the Seltcalf to give them exclusive use of one of the main hangar bays. Visiting Sith Masters use this bay to land, then take a speeder over the water to an external end. The luckless spy we mentioned earlier had a pass card to that hangar on him. While it is surely well guarded, it may prove to be the most direct route. The Sith base itself is very heavily guarded. 
If they became aware of your presence, I fear you would be quickly outnumbered and killed. Here is a pass card to get you inside our facility. You should find all you need to get started in there. You can choose whichever of the methods you want, as long as you get in the base and get the data recorded back. Which method do you think you would like to try first? Good call. Just make sure you don't push him too hard or we might lose him. I wish you luck in your task. Should you retrieve the data recording from the droid, return it here to me. So, you're the one Roland has got to help us interrogate this prisoner. I hope your Jedi powers will come in useful. This one has been most resistant. He's a Sith spy we picked up a little while ago, snooping around outside trying to get in. We thought he was suspicious and brought him inside when the Selkath weren't looking. But it seems the Sith have done a pretty good job of conditioning this guy, and we haven't been able to break him yet. We're not sure exactly. If you can convince him to talk, we should be able to find that all out. While the training the Sith gave him will protect him from most normal interrogation techniques, and also from force persuasion, we have found a few hooks you might find. He was with another man. We also seized some personal documents he had on him when he was captured. It would seem that he's married. We checked this in our computers, and it seems to hold up. We've sent a couple of agents to investigate, but it may be a while. Okay, but you should know what we have to work with. What we have... Because of his conditioning, he's able to resist it at small doses. It causes short-term memory loss. This may work to your advantage because you can try the same tactic. Shall we get it started then? Hey you, wake up. Someone wants to talk to you. Uh, what do you want? What? What companion? The gutless Sith worm is already starting to crack. We'll have what we need within hours. Ha! The Sith are stronger than you. Each one of us. You'll never break us. Nothing you could do to us would make us talk. We Sith are stronger than you give us credit for. Of course, they would never believe we let you go so easily, but they will all too happily believe you betrayed them. You can't do this to me. They would kill me in ways too horrible for you to imagine. Oh, what? You're not. <laughs> you lies. You think me weak enough to give in to false promises of wealth and riches? The Sith are stronger than that. We will have it all eventually anyway. Oh, what do you want? Tila? How did you find out about her? No, never. Damn, he blanked out. Uh. 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 Uh, Tila? How did you find out about her? No, please don't hurt her. Please! Do whatever you want. I know you will fail. My fellow Sith are probably even now trying to free me. You think bribes will work? 
You must be dumber than I thought to think that a Sith would join the losing side. What? What? The gutless Sith worm is already starting to crack. We'll have what we need within hours. Ha! Ah, the Sith are stronger than you. Each one of us. You'll never break us. Of course, they would never believe we let you go so easily, but they would all too happily believe you betrayed them. All right. All right. I'll tell you what you want to know. What's the passcode to the Sith base? It's... it's Zeta 24569. Good. With this pa Just don't delay too long or they might learn that he's been ca- Good job in getting the passcode out of him. I was sure he couldn't be broken. So you're the one who's gonna try to get into the Sith base, eh? Huh, good luck, you're gonna need it. This is our main computer. We have been able to dec- Ah, okay. Well, I'll just explain the encryption method anyway. You might- The encryption system is composed of six matrices. Each is based on a mathematical method. The holes we're missing- Most are simple, but the final two- Well, the second last matrix has a pattern. But I have to admit, all this is a bit over my head. I haven't even- I ruined a dozen cards already. But the good thing is, we have a whole box of them, so you don't have to worry about running out anytime soon. Since Roland said you were cleared, you can use the computer freely. I'll be here if you have any questions. is for Sith only. You gotta pay a 20 credit toll to walk down this street. You talk big, but remember what we did to Taris. Maybe you're next on our list. Tong hai tuam jiji yumalit 
Takum just tak Miki Gravel mogo. Kachi chu ai da odonga, tulpa da bong molia gando da nago chuchu. Any armor plating for my spook bike? I thought this garbage was free. You actually sell this junk? You fish are a strange breed. Don't worry, junk man. When I want garbage, I'll be back. Oof, that girl, please. Oof, that's not here, fuck. Oof, that girl, please. She has fallen, no reason to fit her on the front. Call her, oof, the one way, oof, the other girl, fuck. What will that? I heard the Sith are trying to work on us. Back off, Rep- Hey, you working for the Republic? You look like a Republic agent. I can see the cowardice in your eyes. I think you can impress me by spouting a bunch of Jedi garbage. If it wasn't for the Selkath neutrality laws, I'd add your name to the list of Jedi I killed. Nawabaka Nada chawa yishu. Achua penki, yun patisa. Chiwi aita ka chong chicha. Chiwa ka aita kang chicha na. Tong chiwa ma aki uko tu. Chiwi aita ka chong chicha. Ali tiska do soki, kopa bono nakachi, na tong ki duwama aki uko tune, o tong ki duwama ki aki uko. Ki wakka aita kang ki cha na kubo. Ki tong ki duwama aki tiska do soki, tong ki. Kopa na oto bo kasa, pampa ki. Chua Penki Chiwi Aita Tong Hit Wama Aki Uko Tiska Dosoki Tong Hit Wama 
Pisca do soquinho, topa, bolo, macaxi, na bola, na winky, smack, tom, chiwi, aita, katon, chiwi, aita, katon, kicha, ali, inko, tune, topa, no... Thank <laughs> you.